Hi, welcome to another 40 Manager 4.3.3 video. Today we're going to talk about zone mapping and their use with virtual LANs or VLANs. Okay, let's get started. Uh, so today we're going to go over uh, a little bit about uh, using VLANs or virtual LANs uh, along with VDOMs. Uh, you can use v VLANs independently of VDOMs. We're going to use these with our uh, our zone mapping. Uh, so let's first go review this following diagram here. So this is very similar to the last one with the with the VDOMs. Uh, we've, we still have our zones and our policy, and we have our uh, uh, what we'll do is we'll create some VLANs, or uh, so you can assign VLANs associated with a particular physical port. Uh, this will allow you to uh, set up policies independently for different virtual LANs, but they may use the same physical interface to your unit. Uh, and then we'll do a similar thing like we did before. You can assign those VLANs to a particular VDOM, and uh, then you can do your zone mapping within your, within your VDOM. Uh, and then, for example here, DMZ was mapped to VLAN 6, uh, and then they can be translated. So if you've done, uh, say, the internal mapping here as port 1 and VLAN 1, so that's uh, two, uh, two interfaces in the same mapping, so that'll create a zone on your uh, 40 gig device when it actually gets translated into the policy. So we can take a look at, a, at some of these examples. It'll be very similar to this diagram today. Okay, so let's get logged into our 40 manager. And we'll go to our test ADOM. Okay, so go to our, we're in our, our device manager, everything's the same in the policy and object, we didn't change anything here. Uh, we'll go down to the global section here, going to the network interface, and we'll create a new interface here, so you can click create new interface, and you'll see the type here is set to VLAN, so you can give it whatever name you like, say VLAN 1 for example. And you can choose which uh, physical physical interface it's going to be bound with. So, so we're going to bind this say with port two, and you'll have to give it a VLAN ID. It can be any numeric number you like, and uh, you can also choose to associate it with a particular virtual domain. Uh, so even if you your port is in one virtual domain, you could have this VLAN in a different virtual domain. That's fine too. It'll be internally rooted. Uh, so say we'll choose VDOM1 for example. And of course you can set up your addressing mode, like say DHCP and all your administrative access. That'll be the uh, same and it'll be pretty much the same as any interface after this point. So I'll click OK and I'll add it in. So here's our new virtual LAN interface that we created. So you can see this a VLAN from this uh, type field here. These ones are all physical. This one shows a VLAN. So you have multiple VLANs all, all collected together associated with port 2, for example. Okay, the next part is mapping. So we'll go to see VDOM 1. And uh, I want to map, say, my internal. I want to keep my port 2 in there, but I'm going to add my new VLAN in there as well. So now I have both port 2 and VLAN 1 mapped to internal. Uh, so what this will do when it installs our policy is it will create a zone and then it will uh, map to that zone. So that zone on the 40 gate will be called underscore internal. And uh, So I'll show you what it looks like on the 40 gate after we do our installation. Uh, so let's go to our policy and objects now. Our mapping's all done. And everything should be the same here as before. 
our installed targets should be all the same. Still VDOM 1, VDOM 2. And here's our policies, same as last time. So let's do our install. Let's just make sure to choose the right policy package if you have multiple. I only have one, so that's default. And let's click next. And we're going to do all those. And do our installation. So everything's all ready to go here. So we can take a preview, a look at our preview of our uh, VM2. We'll find the VDOM section here. So here's where it's added our our new VLAN. That's all its associations and modes and such. It's uh, set to DHCP. It's associated with VDOM1. Interfaces port 2, VLAN ID. And so it's created a zone here. Creates our zone. And this is our policy. I'll actually call it internal. Okay, we'll click OK. So that looked fine. So we'll click next and let it perform the install. Okay, so it says finished VM2. Oh, it's just still doing VM1. And finish. Okay, so it should be installed now. So let's go take a look at our 40 gate. Login read only. Let's take a look at our network interface. So you'll see here, this added our new VLAN onto the uh, port 2 interface. And if we go to VDOM 1, it's created our new zone here called internal. Sorry, I was wrong. It, I thought it would create underscore internal, but it just created internal zone. And here it shows the two interfaces that, uh, that it used for internal. So that's the physical interface port 2 and the VLAN interface. And if we look at our policy now, it's changed that to be internal, which is the zone. So internal to port 3. Okay, so it looks like that all worked. So thanks again for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, series of uh, zone mapping. And uh, we'll continue with more videos on various features of uh, 40 Manager 4.3.3. See you next time.